Hi Hexagon, and welcome to this Inspire training video. Today, we're going to discuss how to reduce your cloud data. First, inside of the software, I'm going to go to the Instrument tab. I'm going to click Add New Instrument. Now I'm going to navigate to Hexagon as my manufacturer, and I'm going to switch over to the Absolute Arm 7 Access. Once I'm done selecting this, I'm going to select Add and Connect and then it will automatically connect to my instrument. Next, I'm gonna bring up the RDS agent window that's located in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And now I'm gonna physically pull off my arm and begin scanning my object. As you scan data inside of the software, we will show it in the green line of where the current scanner is located. The green data coming in is the raw data from the instrument which will be displayed in the bottom right hand corner. And then the data on the left is the voxelization, which is filtered data and will be displayed in the main graphical view. As you scan this part in, we will automatically recompute a voxelization cloud as more data is being added. Additionally, we will always keep the raw data from your instrument and automatically create the voxelization cloud on the fly as you scan more data into the software. So we can see right now we have about 9, 11 million points of raw data and our voxelization is only 544,000. Now, as you begin to scan additional things inside of the software, ensure that you continuously rotate that seven axis around your actual part and take it from multiple different angles and sides to capture the entire data from the part. Now I can swipe right, and this gives me the ability to go through my actions list and add a clipping plane to my Cloud1 data. Now I'm going to navigate to the RDS agent and click on the RDS control panel, which is a little gear icon. This will now bring up the RDS control panel. I'm going to navigate to my scanner, I'm going to click on Standard and then click on Advanced. Inside of here, I'm going to type the default password of Advanced with a capital A. And now I have the ability to change the amount of data coming into the software. First, I'm going to change my scanning speed to 100 Hz. We'll see the active profile is updated. And now I can switch this over to 100 Hz scanning speed. And this gives me the ability to now save this customized profile. And we can now see, after I click Save and Quit, that we have that profile shown in the main graphical view. I'm going to hide my first cloud, go to Features, and then select Create Cloud. If this option is chosen, notice that it automatically creates my clipping plane first. So now I'm going to scan a clipping plane, swipe right to accept, and then I'm going to scan the same exact part in, but I want you to notice the amount of difference in data coming into the software. If you make a mistake while you're still scanning into your cloud, you can easily swipe left to remove that scan pass. Now I'm going to rescan the part again. Okay, we can see the data coming in, but it's not as much data as our 300 Hertz profile we had enabled for our scanner. This gives me the ability to reduce down the size of my point cloud inside of the software if I'm scanning in a larger part. Okay, so now I only have 2 million points from the raw scan pass and 230,000 so far in my voxelization cloud. Notice that when I have the clipping plane created before I created the cloud, it automatically will disregard the clipping plane data in the main graphical view. Okay, I'm going to just scan the back. Okay, and so I am still using the default shine profile, but I'm just reducing the amount of point cloud data coming into the actual software. Okay. Rotate that 7th axis to get that curvature on the side. 
We'll get a little bit more data on the top. And then once I'm complete, I can swipe right to finish. I'm going to place the arm back in the home position. We can see it updates in the RDS agent. And now I'm going to minimize this. Double left click on my cloud one. We can see that I had 15 million points of raw scan data. And then in my second cloud, I have 5.4 million points. I'm going to hide this. I'm going to rename my cloud one to 300 hertz. And I'm going to rename my cloud two to 100 hertz. Now I'm going to press and hold in the three state button, and it's going to pull up the RDS agent access window from the actual instrument. I can swipe left and right to navigate through, press the red trigger button to cancel. So now I'm going to go through, I'm going to go to my scanning profiles, and now I'm going to switch back to the default profile. We will see it appear in the main graphical view that it's been activated. And now I'm going to go to Edit, Application Settings, and then I'm going to switch to my measurement. Inside of here, Inspire has what's called voxelized incoming data. You can specify the size of it, and then I'm going to select OK. Now, as you scan data into the software, we will see the raw point count appear in the main graphical view. And then after the cloud is complete, we will automatically filter the data based off the settings we have enabled for voxelizing the incoming data in the application settings. Now, as we can see, it says I have about 2.5 million points coming in, but then it reduces that amount of data after I swipe right to accept that scan pass. As I mentioned before, this can become very beneficial if you are scanning in a larger part that does not require large amount of data. Now I'm just going to continue to scan the part in by just rotating that seventh access handle and scan it from different locations around my physical part. So as I scan in more data, we can see the numbers will update in the main graphical view. Notice that as I'm scanning in, I am also ensuring that I move and rotate that seven access handle to get data located from a different perspective. This will ensure that you're physically scanning your entire part in. I'm gonna swipe right, and then I'm gonna swipe left twice, and then now I can add a clipping plane to that cloud. Once this is complete, I can swipe right twice, and then now I'm complete scanning in my part. Now I can go to my Cloud One, open the properties, and then we can see for this one, I have a scan of 3.5 million points. Thank you for watching, and we hope you were inspired.